Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 44 and chapter 3. In this one, this is still the project motion. Uh, you can see, first one is tell us a long jumper. Leaves the ground at this angle, 45 degree above the horizontal and lands 8 meters away. Ask you to find the takeoff initial velocity v naught. So this is so easy, right? Because v naught is the form equations, the range equations for this uh, land, uh, for this problems. So when it land on the ground, we can consider the level horizontal range formula as v naught. And you can see in these equations, the r is given 8 meter. This g is given 9.8 meter, and angle theta is given. So very easily we can get its initial velocity. And the second problem is ask us to find now she is out, out on a bike and come to left bank of the river and there is no bridge and ask you to find the x component, x displacement, uh, right? How long or short of the opposite bank she will land. So this one is ask you to find the x displacement. So for this person, just a project motion this way, this way, and finally land on there. I ask you to find the x. And for this x, we can see, first thing, we know the initial velocity v0 and angle theta. So very easily, we can get the velocity at the x component and the y component, no problem. So now this x displacement must equal to the velocity at the x component times the time t, time taking. This one is given, so we need to find time t. And we know the time is a bridge between the x component and the y component. We look at the y component. So for this one, you know, you, you know the initial position, you know the final position, and you know the initial velocity, you also know the acceleration. It's so easy for you to find the time t, right? So we use this equation to find the time t, and we find final position, initial position, uh, initial velocity at the y component, acceleration, all is given. So in this one, we can see we can find the time t. Uh, when we solve these problems, we have two choices about time t. One is negative, one is positive. Of course, we choose this positive one. So when we choose this time t, we know the initial velocity at x component. Finally, we just uh, get the final answer, 10 meters. So this is exactly on the upside back. Thank you.